This song's called The Athabasca River. I wrote this song in 1987. I was chief engineer on a boat called uh, W.H. Horton, and uh, another boat I worked on was the Roar Explorer. Uh, interesting enough, the Roar Explorer is still operating out of Campbell River. It's great to see that boat still making its way through the waves. And uh, <coughs> the song had a chance to write, uh, to put the lyrics together, you know, while traveling up in the wheelhouse, you know, with some of the old, you know, captains like Gilbert O'Shea and, you know, it's quite a few of the other ones that were just fascinating characters, you know, you're heading down the river, you know, throwing her all the bends and making sure you make it past all the buoys and staying off the sandbars and got this captain up there, he's telling you the old stories of the old waves, you know, back from the steamships, you know, like when they used to just have nothing but wood to burn, no such thing as a diesel engine. Back from those days all the way through to, of course, uh, in 1987 at that time, of course, we had, a, we had diesel engines and we were transporting all kinds of fuel up into, down the Athabasca to Fort Chippewan, to Uranium City, Fond du Lac, Stony Rapids, and later on up to Fort Fitzgerald, up towards Fort Smith, and just to uh, spend the summer just up and down the river. <coughs> so I heard a lot of stories, a lot of things. And, interesting to point out different spots on the river where there's some activity you know, going back through in the First World War and the Second World War and there's a lot of things happened up and down at Athabasca River that was the main highway to the north so things used to get shipped from Fort McMurray and then all the way north so so I had chances you know you you get so far and then up onto Lake Athabasca you know the wind would be blowing up there so you couldn't you'd have to just hold tight in the delta surrounded by the millions of birds in the Peace Athabasca Delta, a fascinating place, largest freshwater delta in the world. It's uh, quite, quite a spectacular place, had a, quite an opportunity there. So that's where I wrote this song. The song's about the Athabasca River and uh, about just the people over the years that have passed on through. Here's the Athabasca River. Delta where the sweet grass grows There's a river of men and tales Told by the men who set out the sails As they wandered on the water Seeking Mother Nature's daughter on the The trappers of the 17th century Explorers who tried to make history The hard rock miners searching for their gold the men who died from the brutal cold And the natives born on the land By the river where the tall trees stand They hold the legends of the water And mother nature's daughter in their hand And for centuries the people they have rode On the Athabasca searching for their mother Ford C, Mackenzie, Slave, Danny, Chip, on and Cree. I'm listening to the stories of rivers told by the men who were there before me.
the history of the river lies upon its shore And that mound water flows forevermore And the natives born on the land By the river where the tall trees stand They hold the legends of the water And mother nature's daughter in their hands And for centuries the people of the ever Searching for their mother alone. Some ended up in the bull for sea. Mackenzie slave, Danny Chip on Creek. I'm listening to stories of rivers told by the men who were there before. From the mountain parts of Alberta to the delta where the sweet grass grows, there's a river of many tales told by the men who set out the sails as they wandered on the water, seeking Mother Nature's daughter for their own. For centuries, the people they have rowed. Slave Danny Chip on and cream. I'm listening to stories of rivers 